Hello guys, good afternoon. Gusto ko lang sanang i-share sa inyo kung ano ang cuisine sa bansang Bahrain. Ano nga ba ang Bahraini cuisine? Ang Bahraini cuisine ay ang pinaghalo-halong um, Arabic, Asian, African, and European cuisine. Isa sa mga sikat na um, putahe sa kanila ay ang tinatawag na biryani. Pero sa pagkakataong ito, Uh, ang niluto namin is Balenciana, Chicken Balenciana to be exact. Ah, uh, ito siya, mag-appear sa screen niyo. Ayun, napakasarap niyan. At bago 'yun, um so lang i-share sa inyo kung ano ang language na ginagamit nila officially sa kanilang bansa. Ang ginagamit nilang language ay Arabic. Pero ang wikang English ay sobrang kilalang kilala rin sa kanilang bansa. Pakistan is a vast mountain ranges in the north and an area of desert in the west. 
the Indus River, plain in the center, and at the east, is the fertile of many lakes. Pakistan has a population of 212 million, dated last 2018. It has an area of 882,000 square, square kilometer, and its capital is Islamabad. customs and tradition commonly followed by one religion. Islamic is practiced by almost all Pakistanis. The food consume and social etiquette conforms strictly with Islamic principles and rules. Pakistani culture, the main member of the family have a key position. The family is headed by a man and usually he will be the most source of income of other family members. <laughs> Traditional wear such garments as shalwar kameez, kurta, akan, shiwani, choridar, pajama, and jama angarka. One other pieces of clothing typical for the Indian subcontinent. <laughs> Another garment worn with shalwar kameez or either or other clothes is a dupata. It is a shawl or scarf worn around the head and shoulders or just thrown over the shoulders. The accessory is considered very fashionable among Pakistani women. In some urban areas, females don't use it. Pakistani cuisine is an age-old gastronomic art base of Asian Indus, Bali, going contribution tradition involving refined blend of various aromatic flavor and spices. During the course of history, of it also incorporated noticeable Middle Eastern Central Asia and Western Asia influence. It observed Muslim dietary culinary principles forbidding use or of porcine, alcohol, and non-halal ingredients. Its main cor courses re recipe include a large variety of vegetable, lentil, rice, beef, veal, mutton, chicken, and seafood dishes, cooked in a liberal amount of oil or ghee, while it's the traditional dessert and mostly the dairy and flour based item. Pakistani cuisine is meat oriented with wheat as staple food. <laughs> Republic of India or Bharat Ganaraja is a country in South Asia who founded India. Portuguese explorer Vasco de Gama becomes the first European to reach India via the Atlantic Ocean. When he arrives at Calicut on the Malabar coast, the Gama sailed from Lisbon, Portugal in July 1497, rounded the Cape of Good Hope and anchored at Malindi on the east coast of Africa. Who gave name India? The name India is derived from the word Indus, which itself derived from the old Persian word Hindu. Indus is also the name of a river. Greeks used to refer the country on the other side of the river, Indus, as Indoe. Who ruled India 5,000 years ago? Around the 5th century BC, northwestern parts of India faced invasion by the Achaemenid Empire 
and by the Greeks of Alexander the Great, a Persian way of thinking, administration, and lifestyle came to India. This influence became bigger during the Mauryan dynasty. The official language of India are English and Hindi. Namaste! Hi guys! Today we are going to make the most delicious food in India, which is butter chicken curry. Butter chicken originated in Northern India in 1948, prepared in buttery gravy with an additional of cream that gives the curry sauce a sweet smooth texture. Let's start! Welcome to Yemen. Yemen is known for Republic of Yemen, but the oldest name for Yemen is People Democratic Republic of Yemen. It changed in December 1, 1970. The first Saidi Imam or Saidi Imami is Yahya ibn al Husayn. He arrived on Yemen in 893 CE. He was the founder of Saidi Imamate in 897. Yemen is home to the world's oldest skyscraper city. Yemen is known for Arabia Felix, which means in Latin is happiness. So, Yemen is land of happiness. Yemen is a desert country in the Middle East on the southern tip of the Arabian Peninsula, bordered in west by the Red Sea and the Bab el Mandeb Strait in north by Saudi Arabia and in northeast by Oman. So now let's proceed to the history of Yemen. The capital of Yemen, Sana'a, is one of the world's oldest continuously inhabited cities. Yemen was ruled in the 15th by the Ottomans and again in the mid-19th century. In 1839, the southern city of Aden came under British control. North Yemen was governed by feudal leaders after becoming independent in 1918. 
until 1962, when army leaders seized power. The last British powers left the South in 1967, supporting a communist-oriented regime. In 1990, North and South Yemen were united as the Republic of Yemen, but with different militants interfering. Civil unrest and armed conflict with, between the two persisted. So now let's proceed in Yemen blood. Since May 22, 1990, Yemen has used only the simple tricolor. Black is said to stand for the dark days of the past, while white represents a bright future, and red, the blood of a struggle to achieve independence and unity. Similar blood have been used by Libya, Egypt, Syria, Iraq, and the Sudan. The population of Yemen is is estimated at 29,825,964 people at mid-year according to UN data. Yemen population is equivalent to 0.38% of the total world population. Yemen ranks number 48 in the list of counties and dependencies by population. So now, let's proceed to their traditional clothing style. This country has some magnificent pieces of outfits, some of them are still in use, while others are almost completely forgotten. The most interesting are vintage handmade garments with lots of colorful embroideries, intricate gold jewelry, pieces made by unique Yemeni tie-dyeing technique, and traditional daggers that always complement the male costumes. Yemeni women mostly wear very colorful outfits. A lot of Muslim women prefer dark colors, so you can often meet females in black hijabs, abayas, or wheels at the streets. But still much more women use bright color clothing with a lot of embroideries, jewelry, and decorative elements. One of the most popular female clothing in Yemen is the traditional Sanani curtain style dress. It is brightly colored square shaped cotton cloth wrapped around the body. This piece of cloth is called Al Masum. Another obligatory part of Sanani dress is a separate cloth that covers the head. It is called Al Monk. It is mostly black with red and white inclusions. Al Monk is made from silk or cotton. Married women often add another piece of clothing called a mumk. It is an additional headpiece embroidered with silver or coral colors. For men clothing style, top is a loose ankle length garment with long sleeves. Such robe like garments are common in Arab countries and Yemen is no exception. Traditional Yemeni tops are white, beige, or brown. Light colors and natural fabrics are used to cope with the hot sun. Tops are mostly used by tribal people from the north of the country. This garment is rather formal. Fuyuta is a wrap-around male skirt. It is an informal type of clothing. Fuyuta is also mostly by tribal people from the north. Another variant of Fuyuta is called Mawas. Mawas can be worn at the formal occasions like weddings. Yuta and Mawas are usually handmade. They can be of any color and pattern. These garments are rather convenient. That's why they are popular among Yemeni men. Yemen is an Islamic society. Nearly all Yemenis are Muslims, with approximately 56% belonging to the Shafi'i Sunni school of thought and approximately 43.5% belonging to the Zaydi Shia school of thought. There are also approximately 
1,000 Christians and 50 Jews. According to WI and Gallup International polls, Yemen has the most religious population among Arab countries and is one of the most religious population worldwide. Interesting facts about Yemen. Did you know cultural values include hospitality, respect for elders, decency, and good manners while eating from a communal dish? Guests do not accept more than three cups of coffee or tea and wobble the cup from side to side to show that nothing more is required and shoes are left outdoors before one enters a dwelling. Yemenis eat with their right hand. Eating with left hands is an inappropriate behavior regardless of the occasion or place. The norm is to eat from the same place, each from the side of plate, immediately facing him or her. And that's the end of the presentation. Thank you for watching!
calling room service. This is Lois. How may I help you? Good morning. I would like to order a breakfast meal. Okay, ma'am. Before anything else, may I know your name and your room number? I'm Rain Bautista from room 201. For clarification, you are Miss Rain Bautista from room 201. Did I get it right? Yes. Okay, ma'am. May I take your order now? I would like to order one black coffee. One pancake with maple syrup and one orange juice. Now, would you like to try our special waffle with peachy syrup? No, maybe some other time. Okay, that's okay, ma'am. May I repeat your order? One order of black coffee, pancake with maple syrup, and orange juice. Did I get it right? Yes. How would you like to settle your bill? Will you be paying through cash or through credit card? I will be paying through cash. How much is my total bill? Okay ma'am, for your bill, your bill ma'am is 500 pesos. Okay, bring a change for 1000. What time would you like your breakfast to be served? I want it to be at 6 a.m. Okay ma'am, your food will be served at precisely 6 o'clock a.m. in the morning. Thank you for calling room service. Have a nice day. Thank you. Good morning, ma'am. Room service. Yes. Hi, ma'am. Are you Miss Rain Bautista? Yes. May I come in? Ma'am, where would you like me to set up the food? Set up in the table. May I present the food, ma'am? Yes, please. Here's your orange juice, ma'am. Your coffee. And your pancake with maple syrup. Thank you. You like anything else, ma'am? No, can I have the bill, please? Okay. Here's your bill. Thank you. I received 1,000. Here's your change, ma'am, and your receipt. Ma'am, what time do you want me to come back to clear your soil dishes? After an hour. Okay, I'll be back after an hour. If you need anything else, just call 148 for room service and we will be happy to serve you. Now, enjoy your meal, ma'am. Thank you. Room service! Good morning, ma'am. Are you done eating? May I clear your soil dishes? Yes, please. May I clear the soil dishes, ma'am? Yes, please. How is the food, ma'am? Well, your food is good. That's good to hear, ma'am. If you need anything else, just call room service. Please enjoy your stay in the hotel. Thank you. Thank you for calling Amigos Restaurante. This is Lois. How may I help you? I want a table reservation. Okay, ma'am. May I know your name first? I'm Rainbow Pista. Okay, may I ask for your contact number and your email address? 0997 677 and my email address is 
May I know the type of event will the reservation be? Is it for a dinner date, family dinner, or meeting with friends? Meeting with friends. Okay, ma'am. How about the date and time for your booking, ma'am? It will be held on January 26 at 12 p.m. Okay. Wait a second, ma'am. I'll check if your preferred date and time is available. Okay. Yes, thank you for waiting. I have confirmed your preferred date and time are unoccupied. Your table reservation is for how many ma'am? For four persons only. Okay. Which place do you prefer? Is it in the beachfront, VIP, or inside a restaurant? I want it to be healthy in the restaurant. Okay ma'am. Let me check the availability of the venue. Okay. For a while. Thank you for waiting, ma'am. You may have it. It's accessible. Thank you. Do you have any special requests? None. Okay, so how do you want to pay your reservation? Would you like to pay it through cash or using your credit card? I will pay it in cash. Okay, okay ma'am. May I repeat your table reservation? Okay. So you are Miss Rain Bautista with a contact number of 0997-677-4204. If we can contact you with your given number, we will refer to your email address, which is rainbautista at gmail.com. The type of event is a meeting with friends, which will be held on January 26 at 12 p.m. Good for four persons. The venue will be held inside the resto with no special request. The mode of your payment is through cash. Would that be all, ma'am? Yes, thank you. That's good to hear, ma'am. Thank you for choosing Amigos Restaurante. Have a nice day. Good morning, ma'am. Do you have any reservations? Good morning. I don't have any table reservations. Okay, may I suggest a table for you? Yes. Um, how many persons? Okay, one. Please follow me. Is this table alright for you? Yes, it's fine. Okay, please be seated for a while. I'll be back shortly. Ma'am, I'm sorry. I have to introduce myself. I'm Lois. I'm your server for today. So, can I unfold the napkin for you? No, thank you. Okay. Do you want a refreshing drink? Do you want to try our wine? Our best seller wine? No, thank you. Can I have the menu? Sure, ma'am. For a while. Ma'am, excuse me. Here's our menu. I leave you for a while so that you can choose from our menu. Thank if you, you have something in your mind, please call me, okay? Thank you. Guys, I'm ready to order. Yes, ma'am. May I take your order? Can I have one belly pasta? One thing. Okay. Pasta. Do you want to try our best seller, Halo Halo? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. May I repeat your order, ma'am? You have one penne pasta and one Halo Halo for this week. Is that all? Yes. Your food will be served for 15 minutes. Will that be alright? It's fine. Okay. I'll be back shortly. Excuse me, ma'am. May I set a table for you? Yes. Here's your penne, penne pasta. Enjoy your meal, ma'am. Thank you. Ma'am, are you done eating? May I clear you? Soil dishes for yes, you. Okay. Ma'am, here's your halo halo for dessert. Enjoy your dessert, ma'am. 
Ma'am, are you done eating? May I clear the soil dishes? Thank you. Ma'am, do you like some tea or coffee? No, beer or please. Okay, ma'am, for a while. Ma'am, here's your meal. I received 1,000. I'll be back for your receipt and your change. Ma'am, here's your change and your receipt. Thank you. By the way, ma'am, how's the food? Your food's delicious. That's good to hear, ma'am. Goodbye, ma'am. And thank you for dining with us. Hope to see you soon. Thank you. Good day everyone, I'm Rafael Arbonita. So, we discuss mo ngayon yung basic tools and equipment. Um, ang medyo hushi uh, means uh, scoop with a net bottle. And subushi, mango line, like a uh, device traditionally used to shape cooking methods. Um, one is grilling, pan frying, uh, stewing and, sim and simmering, uh, deep frying, um, pickling, stir frying. Ito naman tayo dito sa future change. Isolated for 2.5 centuries, um, during this period is known as the Edo period. Ito lang. Japanese culture um, and cuisine to distinctly developed in 1950. Japan was forced to trade with US, Britain, France, Netherlands, and Russia. Adoption of meat into cuisine uh, is from Western culture. Western influence uh, as a foreign foods are adapted and take uh, rice diseases through adapt foreign foods till traditional princi principles. Food uh, modified chopstick, soy sauce replaces special special sauces and reorder or reorganize for an enemy to fit Japanese form. Table manners mga Japanese. Uh, one and uh, table and seating. So yung mga ano, yung mga Japanese kapag once na kain, uh, kapag once na upo sila, syempre sa mababang mesa. Um, Siyempre gumagamit rin sila ng traditional carpets uh, or uh, ang tawag sa kanda is tatami um, floor rather than western style uh, Siyempre yung chairs and tables uh, Before you step on the tatami floor, you have to remove your shoes and slippers So, ganun yung traditional na dining sa kanila kapag once nakakain ka pwede yung sapatos mo or chinelas so pangalawa is eating um, before ordering wet towels or, or also called oshibori in Japan are provided to clean their hands before eating so usually ginagawa natin ng mga Pilipina bago makumain syempre kailangan natin magugas ng kamay para magprevent para magprevent natin yung germs. So um ita place always be say ita dai ita dai kamas ita dai kimasu uh, means uh, grateful or great, grateful or receive um, if the dish is must be eaten right 
uh, away and the table have not been served yet, the phrases uh, should call uh, Osaki Doso means uh, please go, go ahead or pick up the bowl with your hand and place it close to your mouth. When eating on it, on the other hand, um, larger type of dishes should be not picked up. When eating from share um, dishes, is it nice to use the opposite end of just chopstick or spoon? Japanese eating etiquette rules. So, uh, number one, uh, never raise your foot above your mouth. Raise your foot below your mouth and bend your face like I'm making a bow as a sign of respect. So, ayun yung traditional na ginagawa sa kanila, which is pagbibigay ng respeto sa pagkain. So, two, um, never rest your chopstick on your bowl. Uh, if you need to rest your chopstick while eating, rest wheel, uh, rest wheel always available. Available if not, you can use the wrapper of chopstick. And in the worst scenario, uh, if no rest or wrapper, rest chop, chopstick, uh, you can replace your chopstick beside the bowl. So, kapag once na kumakain sila, uh, kung hindi pa sila tapos, kailangan mo nilang sintabi yung chopstick. Bawal nilang iwan dun sa bone. Uh, so, three. Uh, slurping is a sign of appreciation. Uh, in Japanese, slurping your noodles means it's delicious. Slurping, uh, one way to cool down your noodles. So, sign na yun na uh, yung pagkain o yung slurp sa'yo, uh, masarap. Uh, number four, don't stab a food with a chip with your chopstick don't stick upward your chopstick of food especially in a bowl of rice because it means funeral so dito um, pinapakita yung cultural etiquette uh, Japanese dining located in the Pacific Ocean Japan is an island country in Southeast Asia Japan is considered a unique culture as they have resisted outside influences the art, design, and even the food has distinct qualities only found in Japan. Japanese food is often based on a combination of rice or noodles with dishes from meat, fish, vegetable, or tofu. Being an island country, seafood features prominently in the dishes of Japan, especially crabs and pinfish. Okonomiyaki is the one of the Japanese savory dish. The name derived from the word okonomi, meaning how you like or what you like, and the yaki meaning cook. Okonomiyaki is the Japanese pancake grill with a mix of vegetables, meat, and seafood with mayonnaise, tankatsu sauce, and bonito flakes. For today's video, I'm going to cook a Japanese famous dish called Okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki is a Japanese pancake and Okonomiyaki comes from the word Okonomiya which means what you want or what you like and Yaki means cook or grill. So let's get started. So here's the ingredients. Cabbage, spring onion, eggs, flour, water, salt, pepper, barbecue sauce, and mayonnaise. In a large bowl, mix flour and water. Thank you. 
cooking time! Heat a fry pan in a low to medium heat and add oil for frying. Put the okonomiyaki mixture into the pan. Use a spatula to form it into a circle. When golden brown on the bottom, carefully flip it and cook the other side until it becomes golden brown. Itadakimasu!